all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you uh, today we don't have many people waiting for me because we did not tell people that I will be uh, online usually I am if I am going to be online I will be a lot more earlier but it doesn't matter really at the end of the day is what we do people they can watch and see later uh, I've been sent an article by one of you and the article saying women in Islam and you know because I don't want really to make a um, uh, if we want to make a full study about the topic it's going to take a really long time however we will speak about what is enough to prove the point in the front of us because there is no Muslim to call me and yesterday we've been on air for five hours not even a one Muslim dare to call so in order to present to you the, the point of view of Islam, uh, here we go, we have an article in front of us made by Muslims, and they are explaining to you that Islam not only respected the women, but gave them their rights. And feel free, I'm going to go through this uh, topic here. You can freeze the video anytime just to read the article by yourself. Uh, you can pause it and you can read it slowly what they are saying there. If you read with me here, it says at the time when uh, female children were buried alive in uh, Arabia and women were considered to be transformable property Islam honored women on society by elevating them and pr uh, Protecting them from and etc. Now. This is a big false lie when the Muslim they say that in the time of Muhammad Women they were used to be buried and that because Muslims are ignorant do not even understand the Quran uh, You see the Quran and I changed the Muslim to tell me one person from the campaign of Muhammad. I mean, all the campaign of Muhammad used to be not Muslims, all of them. Which one of them he did bury his daughter? Abu Bakr, Muhammad, Mary Aisha. Who is the one? Omar al Khattab, Khadim al Walid. Who is the one who buried his daughter? This is a big fat lie. So the Muslims, when they when they uh, spread propaganda. And you want as long as you don't question them to prove it, uh, it's it's fine. I mean, they are safe and they are okay. And uh, just don't don't ask for proof and don't ask for reference. Otherwise, they will be in trouble. Before Islam, before Islam, <clears throat> let's see. Hold on. The word is wrong. Before Islam, women, they used to be very much respected and it is not what the Muslims they say. And the proof Muhammad himself, he used to walk to Khadija and you can ask any Muslim, any Muslim you know, ask him, is it true that Muhammad himself, he used to work for Khadija? He will say yes. Okay. So how women they are, a great disgrace. And they are shame. And then they are bosses and Muhammad used to work for a woman. There's a woman Muhammad himself he killed. Her name is Umm Waraka. Uh, sorry, Umm uh, Qirfa. Umm Qirfa was a woman who respected by the all the Arab to the point she was able to stop a war between two army. Just by putting her scarf or scarf, sorry, between the two army, and she said, "Whoever of you dare to disrespect me, pass this this piece of a clothes of mine." And none of them dare, because they respect her, and she's a woman. When the Muslim they say to you that the Quran speak about female being buried before Islam, that is a big fat lie. Chapter eighty one, verse number eight, have nothing to do with this. Translation. <clears throat> Look how they translate the lie. When the female infant buried alive is questioned for what a crime she was killed. There is nowhere it says female, nowhere it says infant, nowhere it says anything. It says when the one is buried, al mawuda is the buried body, the dead body. It doesn't matter what it is. 
so anybody you bury and it is buried because of violence is going to be asked why she was killed the dead body so the Muslims they lie to you and they lie to themselves and they lie to everybody says this is about burying a female that's a big fat lie because if everybody burying the female then the Arab will die and there's no more Arab because if all the Arab and I am an Arab myself and we bury our daughters then where is how where, where is my mom is coming from and where is your mom is coming from where is the mother of Muhammad coming from everybody bury his daughter <laughs> That is a big fat lie. This verse here is speaking about if a person who is buried, regardless if it's a male or a female, and he is buried in the ground, that spirit is going to be asked, the soul of this person, for what a crime you've been killed? Hmm? For what crime, what you commit, what you did exactly, so they killed you? And the answer will, will say, well, I, you know, like either I did a crime or I did not do a crime. So the Muslims, they fabricate false fiction stories. If we go and read the stories about Khadija, you can go search right now on YouTube, you will find, or in, in even in, in, uh, in the Hadith, you will find tons of Hadith speaking about Khadija, the most rich women in Quraysh and Muhammad himself, he used to work for her as an employee. So how people, they bury their wives, or they bury their daughter, sorry, and then Khadija is the boss. If women are disgraced and who is uh, who is the queens of the Middle East in Islam bef before Islam women they used to be queens what are you talking about there's a queens all over the Middle East in Syria in Jordan in Iraq you know let me show you what Muhammad he said regarding women Um, uh, this is about Muhammad when they did beat him and they broke his teeth. This is not the one we want. Uh, let's see the hadith. Let's find the different one. Please invite your friends. All right, let us find different hadith. This is what Muhammad he think about women. Women before Islam, they used to be rulers, kings, queens, sorry. Muhammad, when he came, he said that there is no nation, any people who make their successor, who make their king, or like a, instead of having a, a king, they have a queen, they will never be successful. That's a stupid decision. As you see here, this is about the Persia in this hadith in here. So Persia made their king or the, the, the successor of the king a, a queen, the, his daughter. Muhammad, he said, this is stupid. They will never be successful because she is a woman. So as you see, Iran, Iran before, the ruler of Iran, it was a woman. Look at Iran today. Why they lie to us and they say, People they used to bury their daughters before Islam and who are they those people who bury their daughters since when they fabricate things is not a true then if we go and read more in the article what else let us give us the second lie God devotes an entire chapter in the Quran the Holy Quran Holy Book of Islam to women okay <laughs> Aren't you, aren't you ashamed even to tell us what is this chapter is about? Guys, there is there is a chapter in the Quran devoted for women. Do you want to show you what the, what the chapter says? I will go to that chapter. Let us see. I mean, God devoted, devoted the whole chapter in the Quran for women. And by the way, this is a big fat lie. It's called the chapter of women because it's speaking too much about women, but it's not Allah who call it this way and it's not Muhammad he make it this way. However, this is a shameful chapter. As an example,
if we go to the Quran and we go to the chapter they are talking about and saying go here <clears throat> this is the chapter they are talking about in the Quran chapter 4 the chapter of, of women it's called an nisa which mean the women you will see here in chapter 4 verse number 15 if two women they are lesbian they will be jailed until they die jail for life is the punishment if you are a lesbian but if you are a male who do the same crime according to Islam because this is a crime in Islam supposedly if you are a male the Muslims they are allowed to beat you with sandals and if you repent they will let you go but if you are a female you will die in jail do you see it so they are saying to you the God of Islam he devoted the holy chapter about women in Islam yeah yeah the chapter it's a shameful chapter if we go in the same chapter chapter 4 as long they are the one who is saying that why you don't read for us the chapter about the women because they don't want you to see it if we go in the same chapter chapter of the women verse number 34 we are in 15 we will jump to 34 you can read it all of it it's a shameful chapter if we go here you will see the Quran saying that a man he is in a charge of women and because they are excel on the women and because they spend of their property on them so why the man is in charge of you because you are a prostitute you are a hooker you are a woman he has spent money on her so now he have the right to be in charge i mean this is a logical thing right so when they say the whole the, the holy quran made a devoted chapter the chapter is made to insult women and to humiliate women and then this chapter continue humiliating women and saying so good women are the obedient who is the good woman is the one who obey the husband the women who don't obey the husband she is a hooker she is a whore all right what if the man is an idiot like muhammad should the women obey somebody like muhammad who change women every day who sleep with have sex with the children who he's a thief he kidnap women and bring them home why the women like this should be should, why any woman she would be obedient for a husband like muhammad who is the best muslim in islam muhammad muhammad he kidnap women he brought them home muhammad he have sex with the children muhammad he teach to beat women as you see in front of us here so good women are obedient guard in secret and in secret which allah has guarded but the muslim man he should not guard anything the muslim man he can up to have four in the same room as for those whom they are, you fear rebellion if you fear rebellion not they are not even rebellion just if you fear admonish them and punish them in the bed apart and scourge them i mean do you see how much islam respect the women here the muslim they will say to you oh the quran says you can beat them lightly my friend not to beat them harshly look at this big fat lie this is the punishment <clears throat> to force her to be obedience what do you mean lightly and I want you to show me the word lightly in the Quran or even in the hadith. In the Quran, this verse actually in the Quran came because a man he did beat his wife until her skin became greener than her clothes. And Muhammad he took his side and he gave him this verse. <clears throat> Why well, they lie and they say beat them lightly? This is the story of a woman. Who she been forced to marry a new husband because the Quran discriminate women and the Quran made the women as a sex toy So if a man he divorced his wife She cannot get back to her husband unless she go and marry a new husband and he sleep with her And this is again another disgrace for women because now the women She became a sex toy literally She is married from a man the man he abused he abuse women by using their right to divorce. It's not make the, the divorce very easy. So the Quran says, if a man he divorced his wife three times, she cannot get back to her husband unless she go and marry a new man and she have to 
I don't want to use the F word, but she have to F him and he have to F her. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? The Muslim, they say, oh, this is made because it, uh, uh, the, uh, Allah want to teach us not to uh, to play the game of divorce. But this is not the one here is humiliated as the woman, not the man. I mean, she is going to be, you know, you know, what I mean, she is the one who will be forced to take off her panty to sleep with a stranger just because she want to get good back to her husband. فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكَحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرَهُ Okay, what does that mean? Chapter 2, verse number 230. So if he divorce her, she cannot, she cannot get back to him unless she go and F a new man. <laughs> and then he divorce her and then she get back. So the Muslims, what they do today, when they divorce their wife three times, they hire a guy to sleep with their wife for one night or two night so she can get back to him I mean this is a disgusting religion what is what is the respect for women and what Muhammad accomplished from this is still it's still Muslims men that they are divorcing their wife three times and nothing changed all what they need to do now she go marry a new husband they hire him they pay him five hundred dollars he stay with her and he divorce her a second day as if she is a goat and then she get back to the husband the old husband and he marry her where is the respect for women in Islam? Please, guys, invite your friends. I did start really uh, late today. So share the link with your friends and tell everybody that we are live on air. And here the story about beating the women is coming from this story here. From a woman, she was divorced three times, and she married an old guy in order to so she can get back to her husband. And the man, he did beat her. Look what it says here. Aisha, she said, after the woman, she came to her, she said to Muhammad, look, look huh look at this her skin i just said the lady came wearing a green garment veil and complained to her of her husband and showed her a green spot of her skin caused by beating this is not a light beating green spots in your skins and this is light beating it was a habit of ladies to support each other so when allah apostle came Aisha, she said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Aisha herself, she is witnessing in the time of Muhammad that there's no woman is suffering between all the Arabian women as much as a Muslim woman. It's not me who's saying that. Aisha is saying that. Do you see it? Don't tell me, oh, in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, women, they were happy with their life. This is not true. Aisha is saying, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman who is the one suffering as much as more than anyone else is a believing woman a muslim woman look her skin is a greener than her clothes and then if we read the rest of the story what we will find we will find that muhammad he took the side with the husband who did beat his wife and he tell her hey if you think you can get back to your husband Without he tasting your juice and you taste his juice, which means your orgasm, you are mistaken. And the Muslim here, they, they give false translation. They say, ah, hold on. Read, read carefully. The apostle said to her, if that your intention, what is the intention? The husband, he said, I, by Allah, am very strong in sex. I can testify her. She is disobedient and she won't get to get back to Rifa. Rifa is the previous husband. Allah Apostle said to her, if this is your, your intention, so what the intention of this woman is to get back to her husband. I mean, so she did marry this man just because Muhammad, he said so, she have to marry a new husband, sleep with him, and then she can get back. And obviously this is what she want. So who is the one getting humiliated now? The man or the woman? It's a woman, obviously she don't like this man. This man is an old man. He is he's older three times more than her. She, don't, she is disgusted even to sleep with him. And because she is refusing to sleep with him, he did beat her. And now Muhammad taking the side of the man who did beat the women, saying to her, if this is your intention to get back to your previous husband, then you should know it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abu, Abu Abdul Rahman, he do taste your orgasm and you taste his orgasm. Here they translate it as sexual intercourse, which is a lie. Where is the Quran and where is Islam respect women? Let us move in.
in the article to show you more lies in this article about women is respected so what we learn until now that women are not even a first-class citizen in Islam she is not equal for the man the women she have to be obedient to the husband and if she is not we can beat her until we make her skinny greener and as you see Muhammad he did not punish the man for the crime he did yet he took his side and he said to her you are the one is doing wrong not him in the top of that he gave him a verse as you see he told him my Allah my God he said to me that this is the what you should do with women if women is you fear rebellion admonish them scream at them stay away from them in the in the room which means jail them in their rooms and scourge them beat them when a Muslim he say oh I if I beat my wife I beat her lightly you see that just to show you how stupid you are how lightly is going to be more than a spit if you spit at somebody I mean how light it is but how humiliating it is so don't tell me I'm beating her lightly who are you to beat her lightly or heavily So now we have a God who is teaching you the good manner and the good manner is if your wife you fear rebellion you jail her in her room The husband he have many wives he can sleep with them But that's poor women we jail her in her room and we tie her up to the bed and she cannot get out Actually the Muslim women she can't get out anyway even if, even if she is in trouble with her husband Unless the husband is really not a real Muslim She have to stay home and she should not leave So where is where is where is the respect for women where is what what they are talking about if a woman if a woman don't want to have sex with her husband allah himself will be involved and allah and the angel will be cursing her until she opened her legs again. Excuse my language. You see it? Let us see. Uh, let us see where is the hadith. I mean, lying, lying is a is a kind of uh, uh, a practice in Islam. All right, go. let us see. Let us see this hadith. Here we go. The messenger of Allah said, If the man call his wife to the bed and she refuses, thus he spend the night angry with her, the angels continue cursing her till the morning. But you will never find Muhammad saying, If the husband refuse to sleep with his wife and she call him to bed, the angels will curse him. Will curse him. And remember, a Muslim man, he have many women to sleep with. But the Muslim women, she don't have the right to sleep with other men. So why the Muslim man, if she refuse, if he if he asks his wife to come to the bed to sleep with him and she refuse, the angels in heaven will be cursing her because she is the filthy one. But yet, if the man, as, a, as an example, Muhammad himself, he refused to sleep with Sauda. So what Muhammad, he did with her? Sauda, she was afraid. She's getting old and Muhammad is not sleeping with her no more. And she heard that she is going to be divorced. So Sauda came to an idea. I will give my right. He is not sleeping with me anyway. To Aisha, Aisha, and Aisha, it's, it's a scam. And Aisha, she will speak to Muhammad, so he will not divorce me. So the Muslim women who is the wife of the Prophet, just because she is now old, Muhammad, he have the right not to sleep with her. But can the women she refuse to sleep with Muhammad? No, or any Muslim? No, the angels will curse her, and you can beat her too. 
the Messenger of Allah said when a man calls his wife to his bed and she does not respond and the husband spend the night angry with her the angels curse her until the morning here we go you see it and they will not curse in her look at this here another narration Messenger of Allah said, "By him who is in my hand, my is, uh, is my life. When a man called his wife to his bed, and she does not respond, the one who is above the heaven became displeased. Allah Himself, Allah Himself became displeased because Allah He created the women just for sex. It's a sex toy. She is a sex toy for the man. I mean, the man He called you for bed, and you are you 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 crazy? You don't you say no? Like, do you have the right to say no?" So Allah himself will be upset until her husband is pleased with her. You see, Allah created you just to please the man. And yet they lie to us and the article says, Islam respected the women. So until now what we learn, guys? We learn Islam that women, we can jail them, we can beat them, we can humiliate them, we can shout at them, we can put them in their rooms, and we can curse them if they are not being obedience what else women in islam oh let me show let me let me because i'm trying to to show you the article of the abdul you know so you don't say anything you know okay okay islam further confirmed that both women and women well, women and men are equal in the sight of god look at this big fat lie you see why if you are saying to me women are equal in the sight of god so why Allah he promised the man that the woman herself is going to be gift for him What is the gift for women? <clears throat> what is the reward for a Muslim man in heaven women? They are sex toys Is the women going to have all of you you heard that Muslim believe that a man he will have 72 wives, right? This is not that's not true number by the way because Muhammad he have many many stupid stories He, he contradict himself. So some stories it says up to like 80,000 women some it says millions so a Man will have 80,000 women for sex Where is the hadith? It says that the women is going to have 80,000 men for sex Where is the hadith it says? That the women she is going to enjoy as many men she wish If they are equal in the sight of God So now we prove that a woman in Islam not only she is not equal to the man and you know How many how many women a man he can marry in Islam? That's just to show you another insult. They say it's an they are equal in the sight of God Okay, why the man women she can't marry for husband? Why not? Give me a reason. Hmm? Why the man and Quran, by the way, encourage Muslim men not to marry one. You marry one only if you cannot afford it. Read with me the Quran, chapter four, the same chapter they said Allah devoted a chapter for the woman. Chapter four, verse number three, it says, Go and if actually, even the verse doesn't say marry, it says nkahu. And Inka who mean to F them you see I know Muslim they will say to you this guy is lying to you and the word nikah does not mean The F word hold on. Let me show you. Give me a second, please. I Will show you what the word nikah mean from their website Islamic website Here we go this is a very Islamic website, alislam.org. I have nothing to do with it, as you see. This is not a Christian website. It's not owned by a Christian prince. And this article is not my article. And the one speaking there is a big sheikh with long beard. So here it says, ankahu, ankahu. But what the word inkahu mean? Let us see what does that mean exactly. Read with me carefully. In Islam, marriage is not restricted to pl uh, platonic relationship between husband and wife, nor it is a slow, a solely, so, uh, uh, sol solely for uh, procreation, uh, the Islamic term of marriage for marriage, nikah, literally, 
mean sexual intercourse do you see it so what does no word 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 no kah mean literally it mean sexual intercourse and this is not my words they will say to you this guy is lying nikah mean marriage this is in front of you and this is their website And you can search the same exact line in Google so you can get the same article we are reading. So nikah does not mean marry. It means go if, two and three and four. Okay, now we prove what nikah is about. So why Islam does not respect women and Quran is speaking about women as if they are, I don't want to use a filthy word, but you know what I'm going to say. If them two and the three and four, and if you cannot afford it, so one is that respect? Is that a respect? And look at the idea of Islam to be even nice to the orphan in Islam. If you want to be nice to an orphan girl, a child, what do you do to her? You sleep with her. If you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the orphans, then do F two women, if women of your choice, two or three or four. And by the way, this vast translation doesn't say or, it says and. But if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly hmm, with them, then only one. And here, justly, what justly? What justly? It's about you can afford the women so where is where is the where is the islam is considering the women something respected he did not even say go and marry a woman and have a family he start by saying two and the three and four and it doesn't say or by the way it doesn't say or this is a lie this is why you see most of muslims agree that muhammad in certain time he have only nine wives and many of the caliphate they have nine wives and many of the muslims in the time of muhammad they have nine wives because the verse says two and three and four not or 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 and that mean two plus three plus four and the total is nine where is the respect for the women and then or and and it's lawful for you your right hand process to sleep with them in the same time not to marry them so now we have a female and we rape her. She is our slave. And the Quran have a devoted chapter, brother, about women. And when you read this chapter, you will see how disgusting it is. If we want to talk, Education back to the seventh century, Prophet Muhammad declared pursuit of knowledge. What knowledge? What knowledge, you liars? What knowledge, you liar? Your prophet himself, according to you, did not spend two weeks to learn how to write and how to read. What knowledge of male and female? Where is that? Show me where is that. How you can encourage knowledge when you have verses in the Quran says you cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friend. So how you can go to a university in USA to learn, how you can go to China to learn, how you can go to Russia to learn if you cannot be a friend with those people. So you learn from who? How you can learn if the Quran even forbid you from asking questions to question chapter 5 verse 101. I mean, they don't know how to lie. But we are here to get them busted. What about money? Do you know that in Islam, a woman, she cannot inherit equal to men? Khadija, she inherited all 
the money of her husband. And according to Muslims, Khadija, she was a Christian woman. Because a woman, if she cannot inherit, she will not be rich. And she is number one, number two, actually, person in the city or the town of, Quray, of, of uh, Mecca. Muhammad came. He made the women a sex object, a stupid woman, to the point even she cannot be a witness. What is the what is what is the solution for witnessing Islam? Can a woman be a witness? It is in a Muslim in the text. She cannot be a witness. Why? Her witnessing is half of the man. Why? Because she is a stupid, according to Islam. And not only that, a Muslim woman, she cannot be a witness in the case of any capital punishment. What does that mean? If a woman, she witness a crime, she is not accepted to be a witness. So she is allowed to be witness about what? About money only. If somebody borrow money, she can be a witness. Why the women she can't be a witness? Muhammad explain. Who is going to be doing better job than Muhammad to explain why women she can't be a witness? Read with me carefully. Muhammad, he came to the women and he said to them, women, you are going to go to hell. The majority of people of hell fire are women. This is the opinion of Muhammad himself of women. The majority of the dwellers of hell are women. Do you see it? He said to them, give a charity. Hey, women, give a charity. Oh, women, women folk, you should give a charity. Huh? Seek Allah forgiveness. Okay, why? Because I seen, i.e., on the night of accession to the, to the highest heaven, he claimed that he went to the seventh heaven on top of flying donkey. The dwellers of hell are women. <laughs> A woman amongst them, she said, and why the majority of the dwellers of hell are women? The prophet said, oh, you curse frequently and you are ungrateful to your husband. And in spite of, you, in, in spite of your lack of wisdom, so Muhammad accused him to be stupid. He wanted to prove it. In spite of your lacking in wisdom and failing in the in religion, you the the burden, uh, uh, the wisdom of men and of of their intel intelligence. Upon this, the women ask, and what is the deficiency? What what deficiency we have? Muhammad is accusing women that they have deficiency in their brain. In their intelligence. Upon this, a woman ask, what is the deficiency? In our wisdom and in our religion he said the prophet said your lack of wisdom can be will judge from the fact and the evidence that two women are equal to one man which is in the Quran <laughs> he is using that verse the same one we are talking about to prove that women they have deficiency in the brain So what do you mean? And look how stupid this statement is. Women, they will go to hell because they have deficiency in their brain. I mean, who is the stupid here? Anyone notice with me that, that Muhammad here is the one who have deficiency? Anyone notice why? Anyone notice why, notice why? That he is obviously, he is the one who have a lack of intelligence and he is the stupid one? Who notice why? Because if, a, if women, God made them, Stupid, let us say 
the accusation of Muhammad is true for the sake of argument so if Allah is the one who created them this way why they will go to hell I mean who is a stupid here and they have a lack of religion because they don't pray in certain days because they have their period and Allah forbid them from praying I mean this is stupid you are the one who made them have period and you are the one who forbid them from praying and you are the one who made them lack in intellect and intelligence and yet you will punish them for what you did are you getting my point guys are you getting my point do you see how why I say Muhammad is a stupid man he claimed now that women are stupid but the fact by saying that he proved to us that he is the donkey if the women are the creation of Allah as the Muslims they claim and Allah he made them have a lack of intellect and Allah made them have a period and because of the period and because the lack of intellect they will go to hell that's stupid that is the most stupid thing ever i heard my friends i don't like to speak about myself a lot i have a mother she can recite the bible page to page and she can debate any bishop and destroy him if he don't know what he's talking about I have a mother she used to ask me questions about my books in law when I was doing my law degree and she's studying more than me and she's a woman for sure what this guy is talking about What this idiot is talking about? When the Quran said that women, they have a lack of intellect and this is why they are not equal in witnessing. Look here in this translation, they try to make it. You see, the, in Arabic, it says naqisatu aqlin wa deen. It doesn't say lack of intellect. It says more naqisatu aqlin, which means your brain is 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 is, is damaged. It's not complete. You don't have a complete brain. You women, you don't. This is what it says in Arabic in the front of me. Naqisatu aqlin wa deen, and complete brain. This is why when you ask a Muslim why you beat your wife, he says, okay, if you have a child, don't you beat him if he do something wrong? So the woman is a child. She have an incomplete brain in Islam. And here Muhammad, he is proving to us that women, she have incomplete brain and she is a stupid. She have a lack of common sense. Women, they have lack of common sense. Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation, not mine. A woman, she said, what is, our, uh, what is uh, wrong with our common sense? And our religion, which is not, doesn't say, by the way, it doesn't say our lack of our common sense. The Muslim trying to make it look nice. In the Arabic, it says, why we have a corrupt, damaged brain, incomplete brain. Why? This is what it says in Arabic. Muhammad, he says, the proof that you have incomplete brain is the following. The evidence is that it is, you are not allowed to be equal to, two women are equal to one man as a witness. And only the witness, only in the case of money. And because you cannot do fasting in the month of Ramadan in some days because you have your menstruation. And that is fitting in religion? Do you see it? And yet they made article, they say to you, that women is respected in Islam. And not only that, Islam teach that women is the source of evil. You see, the Muslims, they have a lot of lies. They say to you, the Bible blame Eve for the sin of Adam. That's absolutely a false, a false thing. God, he punished them both, Adam and Eve. Eve was deceived first, but that will not change the fact that both are deceived. But it is Islam who believe that all the evil in the world have two sources, women and the Jews. Read with me carefully.
Do you see it? Sahih al-Bukhari, the Prophet of Allah said, were it not for Bani Israel, the children of Israel, meat would not decay. So Muhammad claimed that we have a refrigerator and the meat decay because of the Jews. And we have to blame the Jews for anything. And we are not for Eve, no woman ever betray her husband. So who is the one considered the source of evil happened to every man on earth is women. It is Muhammad, as you see. What the Muslim men, they will say, this is a hadith, this is weak. I say, you say to me weak, so I can spank you. Who is the Muslim when I say this is weak? Who is a Muslim when I say to me this is weak? This is Sahir Bukhari, Abdul. This is weak? They lie to you and they say Islam respect women. When the fact Islam offer nothing for women except disrespect and humiliation and violence and beating and the women she have to cover herself as if she is a garbage bag. And just to show you how we strip it, Muhammad, when it's come to hijab. Hmm? Just to show you who is the stupid Muhammad, he claimed that women have uh, have intellect. They are stupid, right? Let me show you who is the stupid. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Read with me this. I want to prove to every Muslim that women are 10 times smarter even in the time of Muhammad. It says here, Ummu Salama, this is one of the wives of Muhammad. I was with the Messenger of Allah while Maymuna was with him. So she was there and Maymuna, other women, she is with him. Then Ibn Ummu Maktoum came. Ibn Ummu Maktoum is a guy, he is very well known that he is a blind. And Muhammad, he kicked his ass before because he was busy with the businessmen, the rich men of Quraysh. There's even a chapter about it. It's called Abasa Watawalla, chapter Abasa, where Muhammad humiliated the, 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 the poor blind man because he's busy with the rich man. So when this guy, he came, this has happened when we were ordered to observe the veil. So the women are observed the veil now. Okay. The prophet said, observe the veil from him. What? Guys, do you see how stupid that is? Muhammad is asking his wives to cover the women, they said, we ask the messenger of Allah, but isn't he uh, blind? <laughs> oh, what a donkey. Isn't he blind? And look what Muhammad, he said, Muhammad now got busted. Muhammad, he noticed that he is a stupid now. He got busted by the women. So look what he said. He and they said to him, Isn't he blind? And neither he can neither see us nor recognize us. The prophet said, Hello, 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 hello. Are you both of you blind? Don't you see him? Like, what the heck? <laughs> so, if we ask the Muslim men, Is the Muslim women allowed to see men? As an example, if they are walking in the street, they say yes. Okay, the man is coming wearing his clothes. He's an old man, he's a blind man. So why they need to wear the hijab? What wearing the hijab will do? And why they cannot see him? I mean, who is the stupid here? Cover yourself, cover yourself, cover ourselves. But hold on, but the guy is a blind. He cannot even see us and he cannot even recognize who we are. What? Muhammad, he insists. He said, Oh, okay, okay. He is a blind. Are you? But the hijab is ordered for the Muslim women so men they cannot see her body. Nowhere, Muhammad, he taught Muslim women that you cannot see. Use your eyes. Here we prove that Muhammad is a stupid idiot. And he is treating the women 
as an object and servant to be ordered and you can discuss that's it Muhammad he said you do this you do this that's it otherwise if they don't obey they will beat them what about Muhammad he said the women is the devil we showed you that Muhammad he considered women are the source of all evil but look what Muhammad said about the women Muhammad was sitting with a bunch of his friends in the front of his house a woman she walked by and Muhammad was staring at her ass and he could not resist the temptation so he got and jumped to his wife Zainab and she was standing leather and he forced her into sexual intercourse imagine how much humiliating this guy how much idiot he is the woman she is working tanning leather that's mean there's a boiling water you know we are talking about all days everything have to be done by the women so she is standing leather and Muhammad now got horny why because he saw a woman he saw what a woman the Muslim they say to us Islam we are not allowed to look at women and stare at them and get horny your prophet he did that and then Muhammad he got horny he went to his wife he forced her into sex and then he came back and he said the women advances and retires in the shape of the devil so when one of you sees a woman he should come to his wife and for that reveal what he feel in his heart look at this filthy monster he could not see in the women anything except she is the devil but he liked to look at them and he liked to sleep with them and he, he liked to have sex with them but they are the shaitan women is uh, women come always in the image of the shaitan and she live in the image of shaitan but the shaitan is what he like to have a lot of it in his house how many shaitan he have in his house most them they say he have 13 at least so if the woman is the devil why you have a 13 devil in your home and yet they say to us that islam respected women and protected women where is the protection for women I remember when I was, uh, you know, a long time ago, back in the Middle East, a fr you know, a guy, you know, from the school, we met him and he was like unhappy. He said, so what's wrong with you? What's, what? He said, my father, he, you know, he divorced my mother. And this guy, like, you know, he got more money now. So he divorced his mother and he buy a new brand new has a wife, young one. Uh, and he said, uh, do you know what her dowry is? I said, no, I don't know. You know, Islam forced the man to pay wages to the women because women, as you see, she is a servant. She's an employee for sex. She serve you. When she finish, you give her the end of the contract. The man, he can cancel the contract anytime because she is an employee. He said when he married her, the value of the money was different. He married her like 30, 40 years ago. And now the price of the same money they agree upon when he married her is not even equal to buy a TV. So this woman, she served a filthy husband for 30, 40 years. Cooking, sleeping with him, giving him babies, and then she left with the price of a TV. And this is the justice of Islam. So until now, what we learned about Islam for women. Women in heaven are discriminated. Women in heaven themselves, they will be sex toy. Women in earth is a sex toy. The man, he can have four women just for his joy. You know, if you go in the verse in the Quran, the one is speaking about if in four women, how the Quran described that is to enjoy them. ما طاب لكم من النساء whatever you wish and you enjoy طاب طاب you know the sweet you know like enjoy the sweet chapter four verse number three here they translate as good for you it seems good to you it doesn't say that 
the word top does not does not mean seem good to you whatever you enjoy of them actually in different in different place in the Quran we don't want to miss that the Quran as you know allowed the Muslim men to have muta which mean to hire women to sleep with temporarily chapter 4 verse number 24 the same chapter and the Muslim they want to fool us says the Quran have devoted the chapter just for women yes and if them doesn't say marry them marry if them it is forbidden for you to if a married woman how you say it's marry them forbidden you to if a married woman except the one who they are right hand process so even if they are married you can if them this is the Quran and then he says to you and it is lawful for you all women beside these provide that you seek them with your property how you seek them with your money what kind of women we are talking about a muslim woman she is having no problem to take off her panty for ten dollars so a Muslim man, he go in the elevator today. He see a Muslim woman in the elevator. She is wearing the burqa and she is a very decent woman. And he said to her, how much you charge me if I sleep for you with you for two days? The Muslim woman, because she is a very decent woman and she is following the teaching of Allah, she will look at you. Mm -hmm, you are ugly, you are short. Uh, you look like Christian prince. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I think I will charge you a lot because you don't look good at all. I will charge you $10. The guy says, $10, what are you talking about? Yesterday, a girl like you in the same elevator, uh, you know, offer herself for $7. Let us go for $8. So now the women agree for $8. The men agree for $8. They agree about the date and the time. And that means they are wife and husband. Have you ever heard of a cult like this? That you can marry a woman for one night stand or or two hours stand and by the way this muta <clears throat> is not only humiliation for women it's an abuse because women in this kind of contract she have no rights she's not really a wife she is a hooker when the two hours is over if they agree for two hours or three days or two days depend what they agree upon if if the two hours is over there's no divorce that's it this is why it's called muta muta mean in arabic pleasure sexual pleasure here in arabic it says mastamta'tum bihi where is where is the word istamta'tum in the verse i don't see it and the funny the verse saying so you don't commit fornication <laughs> supposedly this is not fornication giving a woman money for an agreement to sleep with you temporarily is not fornication islam against fornication brother you see brother we muslim we hate fornication but we can hire women for sex contract according to islam and this is not a fornication actually the quran say state clearly that muslim men they used to force their slaves into prostitution and the quran have no punishment for muslim men who force their girls their slaves into prostitution in the top of that allah he says and if you do that allah is all merciful forgiving read with me carefully chapter 24 verse number 33 Force not your girls, your maids, your slaves into prostitution if they desire a chastity. But if you force them, Allah is all merciful. That is the verse about prostitution in Islam. Prostitution in Islam is extremely, extremely allowed. Only if you are a slave girl, you can do this business. A Muslim free woman, white Muslim woman, she is not allowed to work in prostitution slave girls who they are kidnapped or bought a muslim man he can make them work in prostitution 
all what he need to do he tried to convince them to do it if not he still can force them Allah is all forgiving and merciful and the verse in the front of you if I continue speaking about Islam and women you will not believe it it's endless do we have any Muslim wanna call me do we have any Muslim wanna call me if there is any Muslim would like to call me I'm asking for those who they are in the in the chat any Muslim would like to call me any Muslim don't agree with me any Muslim he dare to challenge me about anything I said anyone so what we learned until now in this like uh, 40 minute video that we can beat women we can sleep with as many as we wish all what we need to do is to have to fall in the same time and we can divorce them and throw them away in the garbage anytime there's no limitation there's no limit of how many women a man he can have in his life in Islam you can marry and divorce as many as you wish actually in Islam you can divorce your wife by even a text message this is how much Islam disrespect women the guy he sleep with you he go in his car when he's driving he send you a text message saying you are divorced get out and it's over and as you see prostitution is allowed muta is allowed which is a prostitution too a woman she can rent her vagina for a man who pay we can beat women we can jail women we insult women women are half a brain women are not equal equal to witness women they cannot be witness in the court of capital punishment so what is left for the women all the evil in the world is coming from a woman women is the devil woman come in the shape of the devil she live in the shape of the devil Eve is the source of all betrayal the majority of hellfire are women I just showed you all the reference and all the proofs women they have lack of intellect So why you lie to us and you make an article that says the, the place of a woman in Islam? If you have my books, if you have my last book, Six and Allah, which is two volume, I advise you to read it, all of you. In one of the stories, Muhammad, he said to his wife, Khadija, Khadija, she was dying. Imagine, you know, guys, you have a wife, she's dying. What do you say to her? I mean, this is the last moment in her life. What do you say to her? What, what do you think? Anyone anyone knows what I'm talking about? Who of you get my books? Six and Allah. Anyone remember? He said to her, send my greeting to Maryam. She said, Maryam, who Maryam? He said, Allah, he, made me, he married me to Maryam. She said, you have, you married a woman before me, I don't know. She said, he said, no, this is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Allah promised me to have sex with her in heaven. Imagine the woman is dying. The woman is dying. And Muhammad now is telling her to say hello to Mary. I'm coming to sleep with you. Have you ever heard of a sick maniac person like this before? My wife is dying in front of me and I am saying to her say hello to the women I will sleep with her in heaven that is Islam and this is what Islam think about women don't make them fool you don't make them fool you with those articles They are half a brain they are stupid they are crazy they are untrustworthy they betray you they are the devil 
everything wrong in this earth happened because of women according to Islam and yet the Muslim they lie and they say it's a Christianity who says that about women my friend Jesus Christ the God of the Christians he came through a woman do you know what does that mean the Christians their God he did not come in the cloud he was born of a woman so how we disrespect women Even your stupid Quran accused the Christian that they worship Mary and they think she is part of the Trinity, which is not a true. So how we disrespect women? Even the Arab before Islam, they used to have three daughters for the God. They are divine gods, the goddess. Allah to wal Uzza. Those are daughters of Allah. This is the Arab. The Arab, they worship women. That is the fact. Quran teach that anyone even believe that angels are females, he is stupid. How, how angels can be females? The Arab they used to believe angels can be females. Have you seen Allah wal Uzza? Another goddess, the third goddess, Manat? What? For you, the male sex, and for him, the female? So now Allah is complaining. Like, what? You Arab, you have boys, and I have daughters? <laughs> and look what he said here, just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran. He said, Behold, behold, such would be indeed a division most unfair. <laughs> what is unfair? What? For you, the male gender, and for him, the female, him who? Allah. Are you crazy? So Allah is complaining about what? Allah complained about you make me have daughters at least you have me make me what what's wrong with you 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 i have three daughters and you have the boys alat and al uzza and manat are the three females the goddess what allah is complaining about and the funny the quran said that when a, when a person he, he you know they tell him that you have a female daughter his his face turned black the quran says that but allah is the one who did that exactly <laughs> It is Allah who is upset because they made for him daughters. And he is not saying, I don't have daughters. He is saying, what? For you the male and for me the female? This is absolutely not fair. <laughs> when the Arab they believe, and just to show you that when the Muslim they say that the Arab before, they disrespect women. That's absolutely a big fat lie. As you see, they worship women. You know, how somebody believe women is disgrace, and yet he worship a woman God. Even the black stone, the most holy stone for Islam is a vagina. And this vagina was worshipped before Muhammad by the Arab. If we go here, Look at this in chapter 4 verse 117 <clears throat> isn't it them in the article they said Allah devoted a chapter just for the women look what it is chapter 4 verse 117 the Quran confirmed that the Arab they worship female instead of worshiping male the male Allah read it they call but upon female deity they call but upon satan what the the arab they are worshiping female deity not allah so how the arab they bury their daughters 
You know, you know, I mean, you know, guys, I'm talking about the Quran is humiliating them not because they are worshiping a false deity, he is adding there the word female to prove that this is extremely wrong how gods can be a female. <laughs> oh boy do we have any abdul any abdul sometimes i feel like i am i am like a homeless in the street begging for uh and look guys the arab before islam even they believe that angels are females chapter 17 verse number 40 and Allah don't like that. So you see the lies they say to you about about the Arab before Islam that Arab they hate women, Arab discriminate women. We, Islam gave the women their right. Women they are deity and they are God. They are divine gods for them, and even they are angels. Read with me. Has then your Lord, O pagans, preferred for you sons and take for himself daughters amongst the angels? So they are female angels. Do you see it? <clears throat> and by the way, I don't accept their translation, but I'm just reading what the Muslim translate for us. So the Muslim, they will not say, ah, he is making his own translation. So until now, what we get from this? The Arab before Islam, they were businesswomen. They are queen. They are leaders. The Persian. They have a queen daughter. We show you the hadith. And Muhammad, he said, no nation will be successful if they made their leader women. The Arab, they worship women as goddess. Angels are women. Their idol are women. The black stone is a vagina of a woman. And Muhammad, he took it from the Arab before him, the pagan before him, for he's a pagan too, just to make them believe in him. He did what they do. So how they lie to us and they say the Arab before Islam they used to disrespect women. That is a big fat lie. Nobody disrespect women as much as Islam. The second, the second, you say women are suffering from lack of intellect and intelligence and dignity, you just confirm that you are a person who is discriminating women to the point you cannot even see them as a human because what make a human a human is it the body no is it the race we as a human we are different from other creatures because we have a brain muhammad he reduced the women to be a creature without a brain They are not equal to the man for a very simple reason. They are filthy. They are unclean. They have a lack of intellect. They have half a brain. And the majority of them are in hellfire. Do you see it? And this is the Muslim translation. I'm not sure. I'm not showing you my own. You see, everything I say, it is in the front of your eyes. Nothing of my own. You can search anything you see in the screen. Let me teach you. Some people they ask me, okay, how we can get this reference? It's very easy, my my friend. Very easy. Like now, if I copy, you can type. You can like you can pause the video, and you can type like uh, let us say some unique line in here just to make it easier for you. What is wrong with our common sense and with religion? If you copy or you type that exactly in Google, you will find the hadith. As simple as that. Somebody says, talk about hate speech. This is hate speech. When you say women, they have a lack of intellect. Women are stupid. Women are not equal. Women, most of them, they are going to go to hell. Women is a shaitan. Women is evil. All the evil is coming from women. That is a, is a, is a hate speech. Don't we agree, guys? 
This is a hate speech. Anyone who will believe in this garbage now, he will hate women. He will look at them down and he will believe they are the devil. When a man he says that women they come to you in the shape of a devil and they live in the shape of the devil. So what you will see from the, what, what does that mean? You are teaching me to hate women. They are devil. This is hate speech. The Muslim they will say to you, the prophet he said, the heaven is under the foot of your mothers. But Muhammad, he said, my friend, your mother will go to hell and they are the devil. <laughs> if you ask the Muslim, what does that mean? The heaven is under the foot of your mother. He says to you that we've been ordered to be obedient to our parents. But that will not save them from going to hell. As you see, they are shaitan. So you go to heaven by being good to your mother, but your mother, she will go to hell. Do you see how stupid what you just said to me? So by me being good to my parents, I go to heaven. But my parents, my mother specifically, she's going to go to hell and she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Arabian prophet, you have changed your teaching. Women are used and easily disgraced. I don't know what this guy is saying. Maybe this guy, he think I am saying women are, are stupid. Maybe he just entered the room. My friend, I'm here to say the opposite. <laughs> Christian, Arabian prophet, you changed your teaching, man. You are teaching. What, what? I am not saying that. But don't be an idiot. I'm saying the one who teach that is an idiot. What's wrong with you? So all the articles the Muslims they make about women are respected education. Aisha, she said, uh, uh, actually even the Quran, by the way, they speak about women, they should stay in their houses. Any Muslim have a problem with that? Muhammad even, he said that women, she is made from a crock bone. So you cannot make her straight. If you try to fix her, you break her. It's against her nature. The Muslims, they read this verse for you, or this hadith, to show you. See, the Prophet is asking us to be nice to the women. But Muhammad here is insulting women. They say that women are croaked. <laughs> they are created from a croaked part. So if you try to straight it, you break it. This is not a nice, this is not a nice teaching. Muhammad is saying that your mother is a croaked bone. Do you see it? You cannot fix the crookedness of the women. You cannot. If you try, you break her. This is not a good thing. The Muslim they mention this everywhere, but they don't mention to you that what Muhammad said that she is a crook. You know, she is she is she is a, she is no way to make her good. She is evil to the point. If you try to fix her, she would break. A woman is like a rib, and the rib is not straight. If you attempt to straighten it, you will break it. Do you see that? You cannot make a woman straight. There is no woman can be exist. She is a straight. It does not exist.
if a woman she take hair from her face Muhammad he get more smarter and he say that the woman she take care from her face she is the devil and Allah will curse her why why Allah will curse her any Muslim can tell me if a woman she put a fake hair and the woman who ask for it and the woman who pulls hair out from other people they will be cursed do you see it <laughs> read carefully with me and laugh at this filthy religion who discriminate women what Muhammad you want we want women to have a beard what do you mean if a woman she take hair from her face Allah will curse her if a woman she take hair from her brows Allah will curse her if a woman she add an attachment hair Allah will curse her if a woman she do that too Allah will curse her okay why you don't say that to, my, to, to, to the man the Muslim men are allowed to shave their mustache the Muslim women she is not allowed so now this is why if you see a Muslim woman she is truly a believer she should have a very thick eyebrows the second you see that eyebrows are nice, it's mean this woman she don't believe in Islam. And why Allah will curse her? Give me a reason. Abdullah reported that Allah had cursed those women who tattooed and who have themselves tattooed. Those who block hair from their faces. Allah will curse a woman she took hair from her faces <laughs> why any Abdul can tell us why give me a reason why why what what the problem huh what is if a man he killed a woman do you know that in Islam you see there is an Islam there's a money penalty for killing like you can ask the family let us say uh, uh, I was uh, shooting with my gun and I shot somebody uh, you know like uh, in purpose or not in purpose if the family agree to take money for the blood of that person this is called the blood money in Islam if you shoot a man you will pay twice the price from shooting a woman why she is half a human why any abdul we are suffering lately from the abdul Let me show you the hadith so Muslim they will not say this guy is lying where it says that a Muslim a woman she is not equal to the man if she die as a blood money let me show you all right yeah hair related blah 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 and he said the same as said Ibn Mas'ud blah 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 that about a woman about what about a woman hair blood money from a man is the sum up of a third of the blood money of a man here you see in this in this in this hadith here it is the third not even the half if what she owed exceed of the third of the blood money of the man do you see it well why any Muslim can tell us why? Why? Even even the money, the blood money, are not equal. And by the way, the same for the Christians. If a Muslim he killed a Christian, he pay half 
the price of killing a Muslim as a penalty. And for sure, Islam says if a Muslim kill a Christian, like we let's say we live in the same city under the Sharia law, the Muslim will not be killed, will never be killed, he will pay only money. The Muslim is not to be killed for this believer. Do you see it? It's in front of you. And the blood money of this believer is half the blood money of a believer. Do you see it? And they say this, they say to you, Islam treat people equally. So imagine we make a law in America says that if a man is an American, he shoot a Muslim, he will be punished half punishment from the punishment he will be punished for shooting a Christian. <laughs> and this is supposed to justice. The same for the women. This is Islam, my friend. It is a disgusting, filthy, stupid religion. Now, if I want to go here, this one would be funny. Anyway, if we want to go over everything, everything I know about women, I have to make like a big book about it. And actually, maybe I should make a book, big book about this topic so those who they are looking for reference and looking for uh, uh, you know uh, more more evidence they can have it in their hand but what we mentioned already is more than enough what about women's circumcision how disgusting it is why women are why women are to be circumcised what the purpose if you read the muslims Articles about this They say to you The women circumcised because we try to eliminate her sexual desire What Why you want to eliminate their sexual desire? Because women they are filthy they will sleep around according to Islam so what we do in order to stop them from having sexual desire we kill it we circumcise women this is one of the biggest crimes and this is why even the wives of Muhammad they never, they never have a real orgasm. You know, they don't know what orgasm mean, and now we can prove it. It looked like they did circumcision for them. If you remember the story, where a woman, a filthy woman, she, she is very well known as a very well known whore in the history of Islam, and she is the aunt of Muhammad, and she offered herself to sleep with Muhammad. When she came to Muhammad and she said to him, what a woman will do if she have a wet dream and she have orgasm. Let us see. Just to show you that the wife of Muhammad, she never have orgasm. She don't know even what orgasm mean. Trying to find the hadith. Let's see.
Here we go. When how do you do the CEO? Okay. Uh, here we go. Read with me. A woman she came to Muhammad in front of Umm Salama, the wife of Muhammad. Hmm? And she said to her, to Muhammad, should I perform washing my private part after I have a wet drink? The wife of Muhammad, she said, <laughs> she laughed and she said, do really women have orgasm? Actually, by the way, the translation is very stupid. It doesn't say what a dream. It says, which means women have orgasm. You see how why the translation can make a, a, a big difference? In Arabic here, it says, تحتلم have nothing to do with a dream. تحتلم is to masturbate. As simple as that. So, or to have an orgasm. So, Umm Salama, she said, and do women have orgasm? The messenger, he's smart, supposedly, he said, yeah, sure. Otherwise, how would her child resemble her? <laughs> and this is supposedly, Muhammad is proving that he is smart. And look, look what he said, continue. That is, if she has an emission, emission, of the fluid of an orgasm. Do you see what we're talking about? This is why I say they lie when they say with a dream. It's it is about having orgasm. So the wife of Muhammad, she never experienced that. How that, that can happen? Why she do not know what is that? She is a woman, she is married to Muhammad, she is not a virgin, but yet she never heard of a woman having orgasm. And she laughed, she said. Do women really have orgasm? Do they? And Muhammad confirmed to us that this is orgasm when he said yes. Otherwise, how the women, how the, the baby, because he's stupid, he thinks. You see, Muhammad, the more he talked, the more he proved to us that he's a false man. What do you mean that the baby resemble her because she have orgasm? What does have to do with having orgasm? What does have to do with having orgasm, you idiot? What does this have to do with having orgasm? The baby resembled his mother because she had orgasm? Yes, Muhammad, he taught in different hadith, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will look like him, will be a male. If the women have orgasm, the baby will be, look like her, which means will be a female. This is the teaching of what they call the Prophet Muhammad. So please download the video, share it with your friends. Feel free to use it with your friends in YouTube. Skype, I mean, sorry, Facebook, Twitter, post whatever you can. Help us to teach the truth. The truth, my friend, is the enemy of the devil. And Islam is obviously is a satanic religion. Teach everything ugly against women. To summarize what we taught today in this short video, if we can say short, because short it is, you know, I try to make it short. To cover as most important points, but what we learn in this video that in Islam it teach that we can beat women severely, we can disrespect women, we can jail women in their rooms, we can humiliate them. Women she have an order from Allah to take off her panty anytime the man he asks her, otherwise he will curse her. Women she cannot take take hair from her face, otherwise Allah will curse her. Women she cannot leave the house without permission from the husband, Allah, uh, otherwise she she might be even killed. Women, she can be thrown out of the of the house by text message. You can divorce. You can search right now in Google. Can um, uh, it's approved by Islamic Sharia law that a man he can divorce his wife by text message. Divorce. Let me show you. I'm not making things up. I am not. Not making things up, all right? Let me show you. This is a Muslim article here. 
the Muslim women they are discussing why husbands these days are divorcing you by text message. <laughs> <laughs> in Sharia law, brothers and sisters, a Muslim a man he can divorce you simply by announcing his intention. <laughs> Last week, defenders of Islamic law received publicly a publicity a, a, a blow of, of uh, when Malaysian court evoke Sharia law to allow a man to divorce his wife by text message. Yes, text message. <laughs> I mean, do you see how much marriage in Islam is valuable to the point we can divorce you by a text message? That is Islam. That is Islam. Text message, you are divorced. What kind of people these people are? Text message. Is that how easy to get rid of women? Yes, this is how it's easy because she is simply, uh, you know, it's a man made religion. Everything is made for the man, for the benefit of the man. This is CNN, the station which love Islam and always defend Islam. Divorce by text message sparks bizarre legal battle in Indonesia. But it's already is approving on all, most of Islamic countries, you know. And they are right in, in, in as, a, as, a, as Islamic teaching. Yes, he can, because all what he needs to do is just to confirm that he is the one who said that. So if it's coming from his number, and then he agreed that he is the one who said you are divorced, that's it, you are divorced. That's it. Text message. As simple as that. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to tell your friends about reading my books in case you are a person looking for my, more education. Education, education, education is the most important thing. There's one thing. Make you grow better. That is education. You see, we grow in age. We lose health. We lose our good looking. But we grow with wisdom and wisdom come from learning and learning is a process of education should not stop until the last day of your life you are alive as long as you are learning the day you stop learning you are not exist you are the same as an animal who is just eating and doing poopoo so educate yourself my friend I'm not I'm not saying like my books will make you the only like the only way to educate yourself I'm saying read read educate yourself learn and our videos here is a school of education endless education and it's for free you see all the videos I have tens of thousands of videos it's for free my time it's my mission I'm happy to do it and please Watch carefully. Check what I say. Check the reference. Be sure it's true. Because not everybody says to you something you believe it too. You have some homework to do. And this is why I don't show myself in the screen. I show you the reference in the screen. I don't show a Christian website. I show you a Muslim. Statement. Translation. Website. I don't show you my own. This is why what we do is extremely important and we need your help and how you can help us share the video with your friends if somebody spoke about women are respecting islam shoot him the link download the video please because those videos don't stay long in online the muslims they are going to fight those videos with all their teeth or whatever left of them and they are losing them one by one thank you very much 
may the Lord bless you and enter we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon bye bye take care